Good afternoon YouTube, I hope you're all well. Continuing with our Celts game on Civ 5, and if you remember a few episodes ago, we were broadsided with a Shijani attack, and you can see we, we held them back, but they seem to have come back, you know, on, on a slightly different front. They were attacking Cork. They've kind of moved north now and they're going for Glasgow, but to be honest, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I don't think they're going to be able to bring in siege weaponry past Colombo or get anywhere near them without, you know, any problem. We had, uh, oh, you know what, look, look at all these uh, Korean trade routes. I didn't even notice these. We have a war with Venice going on, however, that is a bigger problem for us. It's, I mean, Venice have a sort of unknown sized navy. Uh, Venice are the one sieve that, if you can see, we are least familiar with in terms of a touristically. So if we take any of their places, we're only going to get a 25% bonus with them. Um, yeah, d Venice... Venice need to go down. Venice are a, a problem for us. They are the number one sieve apart from us, I think. Um, and yeah, you can see even though we're at war, we've gone from six soldiers to three soldiers. We're, we've sort of gone into total war. Every single one of our places, and you can see we've got a few of them, all production focus, and you can see all building frigates or artillery or a few of them building stock exchanges just to keep the gold high. But apart from that, it's I think we're pushing back. We're, we're okay at the moment. So let's just see how this turn uh feels for us so let's finish that frigate off wonderful and then finish the gatling gun it was uh protecting now i am not going to lie i would like in the nest back it's i don't know it just feels to me like if we can get in the nest we can see a lot more of the sea um we'll be able to see a lot more of what's going on so i am going to get this artillery to fire and this is a good test actually it's got a 51 strength with no walls let's see how much one shot will do and you can see actually uh, here we go, bonus versus cities, 200%, so I should be attacking with about 80 strength, so let's see how much it does, Oof, 50 damage, okay, fine, so 50 strength, it's going to take us about 4 hits to bring down, so actually that's not too bad at all, we'll live with that, um, okay, our knights and our pikemen, they are all nicely upgrading for us, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, my pikemen up to lancers now. Now the reason I'm doing that is I need some mobility to be able to finally, you know, put the finishing hit on both Inverness and, and Dennis when I get to that. Um, you know what, this this guy, he can he can wait there, this crossbowman, there's no need for him to get involved at the moment. And this crossbowman, I'm just going to move just out of range of Inverness. I don't want to um, let that guy get hit. And I can attack that worker there. So my spies are successfully spying on people, as they do. I lost a Gatling gun, alas, but that was to the frigate and to end the ness and whatnot. Um, they're all gone now. Uh, I imagine they will have more frigates, but hopefully not too many more. Now, I think the best thing to do is to just take care of these melee troops, actually. So this, ah, I mean, they keep hitting me, which is a problem. The cavalry are the biggest problem. The cavalry, not only did they do lots of damage, but they're also capable of, you know, running in and out a lot um, and just generally being a pain. So we will focus on them. You can see we've done a few hits, but not many. Really, we need to... We're just having a turn where we're letting everything heal up nicely. Um, but we've got artillery that are being made, you see here. Right, I'm just going to keep bringing this artillery up north, this one as well. Um, just the Venetian front. But this front here, I think, to be honest, we're doing okay. We're just going to let them sort of come towards me a little bit more. Now, Ramsey. Ramsey, 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 I need you to be building stuff for me that is... I mean, I can't afford any more frigates, unfortunately, but I can afford a, pri a privateer. Privateers are good. So let's just... Let's make it make two privateers. No, three privateers. It'll give us some melee combat ability. Um, Lods as well. We'll make some afterwards, after the artillery. In fact, actually, let's get one of the privateers first. It means we can steal some ships. It privateers are good fun, actually. I like privateers. So, um, Pikeman. If I leave him here, he will die. So I am going to retreat him. I imagine the cavalry will be able to easily catch up with me. But what I can do, actually, the Comorashri Riders are our cavalry as opposed to knights, so I could upgrade, but no, for the moment, it's not worth it. Okay, the frigates down here are starting to be built now. Wonderful. So actually, I'm going to get this guy to come as quickly as it can round, although actually it would be good to explore the coast and see if we can see any 
uh, Venetian troops on the way. So, yeah. So at the moment, it's sort of it's we're in the middle of war. Unfortunately, the, t the turns are taking quite a long time, but that's fine. We can we can forgive them for now. England has got a long turn. For a second, I was like, oh dear, what are they up to? Open borders with Korea, yes. Yes, I do want that. Ooh. Bam. So they killed my crossbow. They keep killing crossbows. This is really annoying. Um, as long as I don't see any siege weaponry, I'm, I'm, I'm not too worried, to be honest. You can see here, though, Glasgow is beginning to get surrounded. So, actually, I'm going to keep a few artillery here to help out. And I've got two available. So, let's just quickly get this guy here and set up. Again, let's get this guy here and we can set him up next turn as well. Now, kills. Kills are the most important thing. Bam. There we go. That's one kill. Um, and yeah, getting rid of these goddamn horsemen is the most important thing that we can do. There you go. That's one dead as well. Um, so as long as we kill faster than they kill us. I guess that's a that's a result really, isn't it? Artillery again, keep coming up. Frigate. Wonderful. Another one's been made. Just exploring the coast while I'm at it. Da, 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 da. Wonderful. Hello, England. Uh, artillery again. I might get this guy to no, this guy can keep going north. I think he'll be most needed. Let's focus on this Venetian battlefront. I want in the nest back. I need it back. Um, okay. Okay, so they have. Okay, my Lancer can reach in the nest, which means if I can do the damage to it, I can take it back this turn. So let's just bring my frigate round a little bit just to see if there's any more ships. No, it looks like these are the only ships at the moment. Two hits here. Artillery. Wham. And one more. Bam. Um, and then again. Right, this artillery is going to take the brave step of going into the sea. But hopefully I won't regret that. Fingers crossed, eh? Um, this crossbowman can do a hit as well on Inverness. Um, great general in. Oh, it doesn't quite finish it off. Ooh. Oh, that's so annoying. And these answers can't get near either. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to have to take a little bit of damage this turn, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my troops into range so that they sort of become alternatives. And I'm going to give it a try. Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't work. Okay, well, it was worth a try. Um... Okay, artillery has been finished there. Right, that, that explains that. So, so that answers that question. I'm going to keep my artillery going forward here. Now, this battlefront is looking a little weaker than it once was. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's keep on upgrading and moving my troops around to here. Pikemen, you just fortify until, until I tell you not to, really. Um, Glasgow needs a troop. What can I purchase here? Gatling gun? That would be good. That'll just give Glasgow a little bit more strength. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Krakor has completed artillery. Wonderful. Um, one more, please. And then add to the queue. After that, you can build my stock exchange. Beautiful. Uh, Dublin, to be honest, same deal. One more, please. And then add to that. Afterwards, you can build yourself a factory. Yep. Cool. Artillery is done. Great. You know what? You can just keep building the artillery. Nantes, you've got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of stuff going on. So yeah. Actually, you know what? No, a few lances as well. Um. Actually, no, no. Why bother building lances when I can build cavalry? Actually, it's a it's a good point. There we go. Stronger. Okay, this artillery can come and get involved. Splendid. Next turn. See what happens. Now the Shoujani will retaliate, I'm sure, but they're coming more and more into my territory, which means I can do a lot more damage to them. A unit was killed. 
my Lancer was bombarded. I knew that was going to happen. That was the failed attack, though, wasn't it? That was unfortunately just one of those things that happens. Um, I gambled. I thought I might be able to take the city. Shejania keep attacking, but actually their, their damage is reduced now. Um... I might get Cork and Glasgow to build walls up, actually, in a little bit. Just to really hold them back further. Okay, good. Now, the good thing is we've got artillery. Two artillery in range, which means I can lob and bombard the uh, riflemen here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four attacks and they don't die. Blimey. They're quite strong. Um, my crossbowmen still can't do anything of use. Keep coming around. You can. One, two, three. Okay, well, at least one guy has died. Um, oh, there's a great general there. I, could, I really do want to steal the great generals. Not, not that I would steal them, sorry, but that I, I would um, at least kill them. Um, artillery, move, set up, and then fire again. Bam. Like so. Okay, let's go and see the northern battlefront and see what's happening here. This night, you just heal yourself up. Um, artillery, you take the shots. I need you to level up quicker than anything else. Bam, 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 like that. And then crossbows, you get the final shot. And then Lancer. Inverness is mine. Damn it. So I've killed the frigate and I've also killed the cannon that was resting there. So that's quite a good result, really. Um... Now, I'm just going to get my frigates to explore a little further into Venetian territory, and let's see what I can find. Just scout out the size of the Venetian navy. Okay, well, I found at least one ship here. Oh, okay, multiple ships. That's fine. We've got more ships coming. You need to dock as quickly as possible. I don't want you to get it caught out. Okay, and the artillery will continue to trundle forward. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Sucks to be you. Colosseum has been finished. Okay, what I need you to do is to build me a cavalry quickly to get the finishing touch. Embro. Okay, I'm going to get you to build a factory and then a hydro plant after that. I need Edinburgh to be big and powerful. Lancer, again, heal yourself up. Knight, can I get you to do anything? No, not really. I can get him involved in the fight there as a distraction. That's all we need. Lots of distractions. Um, artillery, again, move to here. They are going to regret taking me on. Okay, just my frigate keeps going around. Doesn't look like there's anything off the coast here. Cromwell, you wait there. You just catch up with the other guy. Here we go. Done. Venice, how do you retaliate? Okay, so they attack my frigate twice. So this frigate needs to come back to territory and heal, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, as I said, I've got two more frigates. I mean, I should have four against the enemy. So with a few privateers as well, I should be doing good. And the Komarashi riders are now struggling, really, to do any damage to Glasgow. Ah, now this is worrying, a cannon. So far, we've avoided Shojeni, um his heavy weaponry, but now it looks like they're coming. Okay. Okay, the fourth conference is in order. Now, who's going to vote for what? Um, nay, so Persia is going to vote against order, which is likelihood. I'm going to put all my votes towards the world religion still. If you remember, the religion is still giving me 68 gold per turn. It's definitely worth getting world religion in if I can. Um, and actually, look, it's got a huge influence in Venice these days as well. Even Palenque is beginning to struggle. Um, let's have a quick look. Now, Glasgow can take out some troops if I'm careful here. First of all, where can the artillery hit? One... These guys are furthest away, so we prioritise their attacks. Two. And then set up and fire on these guys. Three. You fire two. Four. You as well. I know you can't quite reach. Um, hmm. I want to kill that guy, really, that rifleman. I'll kill him with a pikeman. Yeah. 
Don't think pikemen really should be killing uh, lancers, but never mind. Um, frigate, I'm going to get him to be good against naval units, and I'm going to retreat back to Inverness to heal him. Um, this guy as well is going to retreat back to Inverness and take a shot against that frigate there. Um, do, 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 do. Artillery, open or rough, I'm going to go for open terrain because they'll be able to shoot against ocean tiles a bit better, I think. I'm not so sure that's a thing, but maybe it is. Right, okay, crossbowmen can now see Venice. Haha. -ha. That's good. We would continue to move artillery nice and close. Um, and again, my crossbowmen are just going to keep on the coast as pretty much just um, meat shields, really. I want them to be attacked rather than my artillery. Um, okay, Gatlin gun, you can finish him. You can attack there. So actually, look, we've killed a large amount of units just in one turn now. That's pretty good. Um, riders, I'm going to move you behind Glasgow just so that you're safer there. You need to defend yourselves. You need to move yourselves a bit forward. As do you guys, really. And do you. And then my great general is going to come more into the middle of the troops. Remember, he improves by two tiles all around him, so I need him to be in the middle of the fighting. <coughs> oh, blimey, I'm sorry. Walls, walls, stick walls up in the nest. You are the middle of the battlefront, huh? Uh, worker, again, just do what you need to do in the nest. I'm going to get you on production focus as well. Um, okay, wonderful. Frigate, keep exploring. It's interesting to see what's in here, whether it's just a very small um, Venetian city-state or not. Okay, I don't know why I'm moving around Kaisel's um, space, actually. They've got no... They're friends of me, so they don't mind me moving through them. Oh, well. Um, that's fine. Let's keep moving. Okay, Venice has bombarded my frigate, but that's fine. Um, we're okay there. I might actually just get my frigate to heal until reinforcements arrive, which are very close, to be honest. Um, also, if I attack Venice, I'm likely to sort of push them out and um, make them more likely to attack me. Here we go. It, doesn't, it looks like I've sort of almost pushed, um, pushed the Shejani back. They've kind of given up a little bit. Really, what I need is Columbo on my side. Um, if I can get Columbo on my side. Oh, look. Hang on. Right, what happened here? Stuff, stuff has happened. Norfolk Pride is the world religion! Yeah! Awesome. That's cool. I'm giving a lot of extra votes to people, but it, it negates Persia's... Um, um, yeah, it negates the Persia's influence. Now, I'm going to put world ideology in, and I want order. Um, yeah, let's do this. Persia, screw you. I'm going to be fighting you soon, anyway. I think he knows it. I think I know it. Um... Do, 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 do. Now, where do I want... Do I want to advance and try and take one of the Shejani cities? I don't really. Um, I mean, they're going to be tough to take. I really want peace with the Shejani for now. Lost the world to fight. He still doesn't want to not fight. I must be doing better on him on soldiers. It doesn't really say. Never mind. Um, okay, let's take this one fight at a time. Venice, Venice first, our Venetian fight. Heal, Mr. Frigate. You'll take another shot from that Frigate, but it'll just heal you up nicely for this turn. Um, again, I'm just going to move my artillery round. I need them all to be within three spaces, essentially. There's no point in rushing at the moment, because I don't have a melee troop to go and finish. So, like, do you see all of these will now be able to be in range of, of shooting? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait one more turn. Oh, actually, I can get him up there. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, that's great. And I've actually got Privateer that will be able to come and finish it off in a turn or two. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Okay, um, yeah, those are all sorted up there. Cork can attack the Great General. Why not? I think it's through experience. Well, not Cork. Cork can't get experience, but you know what I mean. Um, right, artillery. Okay, everybody just wait here for a turn. We're just going to... I'm going to see if they're stupid enough to attack us. Right, you wait that. 
I know it's on the weakened pikemen, but I trust that they will be able to fortify themselves. Everyone, everyone is uh, fortified. They're very, very ready for an attack. Okay, cool. Awesome. Warsaw has finished the factory. Awesome. I'm going to get a hydro plant there. You can see there's a huge river in Warsaw, so that'll help massively. Truro as well. Um, just get a factory going. Do, 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 get them going. Cool. You alert. Forget. Let's just have a quick nosy. It's Sydney. And another merchant of Venice off for misdirection. I don't particularly need to fight Sydney at the moment. I'm more interested in Venice, but it's good to know where Venice is. Another frigate. Yep, just move up here. Oh, hello. Sorry. You did a little too far. Wonderful. Now, how will Venice retaliate? Do they have a land army they're going to shove into my artillery? No, they've just got frigates. Okay, fair enough. I will be able to fight them back. We such agreement. Good, good, good. No, I don't want that. I want... I'm afraid I need the money for my war. A farm has been destroyed by a marauding... Oh no, now they're going down to Truro. Oh. What pains in the bottoms. Man. Okay, now there's a cannon in range of Cork and I actually don't have another artillery that can reach, so... I'm going to just rearrange these troops a little bit, but I will do that next time. Join me next time to see how this war commences. We're only taking about three times per playthrough at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to push them back, end the war, and, and press along. But hopefully you're enjoying it nonetheless. Um, I have no idea what I'm attacking. Railroads, there we go. Right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next episode. Bye!